Alright, so my name is Micah and this is my eye report from Prague, Czech Republic. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning here. I don't know what time that is Eastern, but we're about 40 minutes from the first poll closing on the East Coast. Hi, I'm Max Munson and we're standing in front of Restaurant Ateyama. Max, you have agreed to stay open uh, this November 4th until when? Till 4 in the morning. This is what we needed to do four years ago when it was Bush Kerry. I think uh, that I think the world really will find uh, a great reception for uh, for Obama. I think, uh, as far as history, it's going to be obviously the most important issue. Hey, my name is Jeremy Lopez, and you're an American, yeah? I am from Colorado. The great Colorado. Speech. Have you voted already? I have. Ventura and a former host of Saturday Night Live, a man who came to fame no more than 50 yards down the hall from where we are right now. So I first came as a, as a backpacker tourist back in 1992. Prague was one of the number one places on my agenda. Came by and fell, uh, fell in love with the city. I think that was happening to a lot of people at that time in the early 90s. Been living in Prague for about 17 years continuously. Uh, the earliest memories of the city are blocks and blocks of drab, dreary buildings. Uh, you would go about two blocks out of the center and there was nothing. Desert. Social, cultural desert. At the time, the, the exchange rate was very good and uh, kind of a place where you could live cheaply. A uh, lot of inspiration, a lot of people, creative-minded people. Well, look, in college, I was an, I was an English major, um, so I didn't have any real training. Um, as far as any profession was concerned at the time. I was only a year out of college, and so the idea was to publish this, a literary publication. But we didn't have any money, my, my friend and I, we didn't have any money to publish a literary review. But we did have some restaurant experience. So we decided we would write a business plan, start up a restaurant, and that the restaurant eventually would be able to, if all things went well, fund a literary publication. Um, the first time I walked into Yama, I just met a huge amount of different people, whether they were Czech or whether they were American or whatever, just to, but you could feel that there was a community there. This, you have to remember, this is the days before cell phones, you know, I mean, we, you know, if you, if you were going out, you had to make the plans beforehand, or you showed up at Yama, or somewhere else, or whatever, usually at Yama, though. Uh, and, and I would say that, uh, you know, that's a stable part of our life, every uh, week part of our life, practically kind of a central point where, where people can come from different areas, different interests, different cultures, and feel comfortable and have a place to, to be. Uh, a hot shot was, uh, was, was a little bit of coffee, a little bit of Galliano, and, uh, and whipped cream on the top. And for some reason, this very girly drink was, was, was drunk by, uh, by Green Berets, <laughs> like by, by, by the tray load. But that's, that's one, one key memory that I have of, of the place, and it just goes to show, like, what kind of community was there? It's like I said, there were there were there were U.S. Special Forces. There were bartenders like me, English teachers, uh, and uh, all intermingling with each other, and as well as with the with the local community. You know, I mean, I met a lot of my my Czech friends the, the, that I still have today at, at Yama. It was very important to uh, to celebrate the positive aspects of what we've got going, you know, in America with Americana. That means friendly service. It means casual service. It means a good selection. It means a relaxed. Atmosphere. I wish I could describe my most memorable night in Yama, but unfortunately only my friends can remember it. Uh, it was my bachelor party, and uh, honey, I hope you're not watching. Now, I'm not saying this just for you. I'm saying this is true. The inauguration party at Yama. I expected about a hundred people to show up. We had, in, in the end, it was, we had never had a larger turnout for any event in the history of the restaurant. We have never had anything like this. I was turning away people at the door for an hour before it started. I filled up all the, pu the neighboring pubs with other people who wanted the TV to be tuned, tuned in to CNN. That was probably the most memorable. It could go many different ways. This is one, the one definite thing though, this is always was fun. 